and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a drugstore makeup look which has been highly requested and it's a classic glam look that can be worn any time of the year. So if you would like to see how I got this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I'm first starting off by priming my face using the L'Oreal Infallible Mattifying Primer and I'm putting this all onto the kind of the centre part of my face and then pushing the product in so that it's nice and distributed and soaked up in the skin as well. For my base I use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 220 and the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer and I've dotted that on my face and then blending that all out with my Beauty Blender and this gives a really even and flawless finish. Now for my brows, I have used the Soap & Glory Archery Brow Double-Ended Pencil and I'm first brushing my brow hairs in the direction that I kind of want them to be and then I'm just going in and lightly filling them all in and this gives a really natural light effect on the brows in comparison to using like a brow pomade or brow gel or anything like that. So once that is done, I am going to be setting all of the hairs in place using the Body Shop Brow and Lash Gel. And this is the clear one and I've been really loving this at the moment because I find that it keeps my hairs in place all day long. So once I've done that, I'm just cleaning up underneath the eyebrows and I actually cleaned up slightly on top as well and I'm using the NYX contour and concealer palette for this and I used a mixture of the two shades on the left hand side. So once I was done with that I was going to start off with my eyes so I'm using the NYX shadow base as a eyeshadow base on both of my eyelids. So I'm putting that on using the doe applicator and then just blending that all away. And the eyeshadow palette that I'm using is the Eyes Uncovered Nude Palette by the Collection brand. And I'm using the first shade here just to highlight my brow bone. And then in, went in with this shimmery shade next to it just to add a hint of shimmer to it. Then taking this shade here, I wanted to use this as my transition shade. So I grabbed that on a fluffy brush and just blended that into my crease. Now the only thing is that this sh palette doesn't have any names so <laughs> I'm taking this sh third shade here and I'm actually applying this on the first two thirds of my eyelid just to brighten that up and then going in with slightly darker brown shade and applying that to the outer third of my eye just to give the eye a bit of a dimension and a 3D effect so it's not looking really really flat. And then just to define that a little bit more I'm taking the darkest brown shade and working that colour into the outer third and then dragging that into the crease of the eye as well. Again, this just gives the eyes a lot more depth and it's a really nice look to wear for any occasion. Next, I moved on to my lashes and uh, I'm using my favourite lash combo. So I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara first to coat both of my lashes. And as you can see here, it does amazing things to them. And then once I had done that on both of my eyes, I went in with the Miss Manga Punky Mascara just to add some more volume and oomph to them. And then went back in with the Lash Sensational Mascara just to make sure that everything is nice and spread out. And yeah, basically my eyelashes look amazing every time I use this. Now I use the Kiko Gel Eyeliner to line my upper waterline on both of my eyes and I just used a brush that I got from Hobbycraft to do that and then I started to slightly line the top lash line of mine before I went in with a little bit of a wing. I'm loving winged eyeliner at the moment and I just kind of made a slightly medium kind of thickness wing because um, I felt that this looked really good with this eye look. So once I was happy with the look and shape of both of them, I went on to my concealer. And the concealer I'm using is the Eye Eraser by Maybelline. And you guys know how much I love this concealer. I've been using it for over a year now and it, it's by far my favourite drugstore concealer. So I'm applying that on a triangle shape underneath both my eyes, highlighting the centre of my face and underneath where my contour would be. And then I'm just blending all of that away with my Beauty Blender and again this just gives it a really nice, flawless, really lovely blended look to the skin. So once I had done all of that I just wanted to clean up my wing using the NYX palette again so I just added a little bit of concealer underneath where my winged eyeliner was just to sharpen that up and clean it up. Next for contour I used the NYX Wonder Stick and this is a beautiful cream contour stick. 
and I'm using the lightest shade that it comes in because it's a really nice cool tone shade. So I'm contouring my nose, I contoured my cheekbones, and I'm just finishing that off on my forehead, my jawline and then underneath and above my lip. I'm going in with my Motives brush to just blend all of those lines away so it's nice and seamless. And then if you do feel like your lines are looking a little bit harsh, you can go over with a buffing brush or the Beauty Blender to make sure it's all nicely blended in together. Then using the Kick-Ass Powder by Soap & Glory, I'm just setting all of the areas that I highlighted and concealed before setting my contour. So I'm using the Flawless Cheek Contour Palette by Barry M. And I'm using a mixture of the last two darker shades and just putting that on top of where I contoured. And I'm actually really impressed with this contour kit because it's only like three or four pounds, but it's actually really quite good. So once I had done that, I went on to using Bittersweet, which is a NYX blusher, and I'm putting that onto the apples of my cheeks. And it's a really nice mauve shade. You guys know how much I love my mauves. Um, so this is the blusher I applied. And for highlighter, I used the Undress Your Skin MUA highlighter, which is a beautiful gold shade, and it's pretty much a dupe to NARS's Albatross. So I'm putting that onto the tops of my cheekbones and down the center of my face and not forgetting my cupid's bow and chin as well. To make sure everything's set in place, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just kind of buffing that in slightly into my skin so that I know my makeup's gonna last all night long. And then using the same Kiko eyeliner, I am first lining my water lines with that. And once I have done both of those eyes, I slightly kind of diffused it out into my lash line as well, just to thicken that up a little bit, because I was going in with the darkest shade in that same eyeshadow palette and running that along my lash line, just to make them look a little bit more smoky and make it look complete as well. So once I had done with that, it was time to finish off my lashes, so I added the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara onto my lower lashes as well. And you guys know how much I love lower lash mascara as well. Um, so then on to lips, I use this blush pink shade in the Soap and Glory lipstick. And it's a beautiful kind of everyday kind of pinky, nudey, mauvey colour. And I actually wanted to make it a little bit more pink, so I added this L'Oreal 228 lipstick. I think it's called the Riche, Colour Riche lipsticks. So I'm just adding that on top and it just kind of amped up the lips a little bit more. And to add a bit of gloss on top, I used Madeleine, which is this NYX Butter Gloss on top, because I wanted a really, really glossy, kind of wet looking lip with this look. But I feel like you can wear pretty much any lipstick with this kind of makeup look. So this is the final makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I did actually add some Ardell Demi Wispies onto my lashes. But other than that, this is the look and I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like to see any more drugstore inspired makeup looks, then please let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next tutorial. Bye!